stop playing Pixel Gun 3D until you've seen this video because this video will help you out so freaking much. So I am being told that this right now is one of the best times for Pixgun 3D because we are getting more new players than ever despite what I said in one of my previous videos. Apparently Pixgun 3D is actually attracting tons of new viewers just the new viewers are not actually watching many YouTube videos. This video right here is actually targeted towards those new players in Pixgun 3D because I'm going to be going over the best and the easiest, the fastest and easiest ways for you to level up in Pixgun 3D. Welcome back to another video guys, my name is Everletcher and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. As I just said, I'm going to be going over the fastest and the easiest ways in Pixel Gun 3D for you to level up. So in yesterday's video, I told you all to spam Rigby is a god in the comment section and whoever spammed it the most will get a shout out in today's video. So today's shout out is going to Just Cooper. Huge shout out to you. It's actually weird because you're one of my friends, but you did spam it over like over 800 times. So I think it's just right that you deserve it. You had literally a third of the comments on the entire video video. If you guys do want to get a shout out in tomorrow's video, then make sure you go down below and spam Broccoli is Nasty, and whoever spams it the most will actually get a shout out in the next video, with a link down in my description as well. But I do have one thing I ask of you, if you are going to do that, please just comment once and then reply to your own comment several times. It's going to make it so much easier for me to see who actually commented it the most. So if you guys can do that like Cooper did in the last video, make sure you guys do that. That's going to make it so much easier for me. So I actually went and did all of the statistics for every single game mode or lots of the mini games and lots of the primary game modes in Pixgun 3D. And so we're just going to start at the very bottom. So the first one we have is Glider Rush. Glider Rush is a two minute game mode and you get 15 XP every single time you win. This will actually, you can also get three coins per game and you can actually get 30 games in every single hour because of that. And with 30 games per hour, you can get 90 coins per hour plus 450 XP per hour, which is not that bad, but it's not great either. The main problem with this is VIP actually does not affect Glider Rush. So even if you do have VIP, you're not getting double XP or double coins. The next thing we have is going to be the racing mini game. And this thing is almost the exact same. It's a three minute game mode. Every single time you win, you're going to be getting 15 XP and it's three coins per game. So you're getting 60 coins every single hour, 20 games per hour and 300 XP per hour. Coming in at the number five spot is going to be co-op survival. Co-op survival is actually a great way for you to level up, but the one reason why it's so low on this list is because for some reason, every single time I play this on my second account, there's always some max level player who comes in and steals first place from me. So co-op survival is a four minute game mode, which is kind of a little bit longer than lots of the other ones, but VIP does in fact work on this. If you get first place, you are getting 15 XP, but the VIP is going to make it 30 XP every single game. On top of that, you're, you can get 15 games in every single hour, 360 XP every single hour, or with VIP, you're going to be getting 720 XP every single hour, which is actually a freaking ton, but it's still not the best. And because there's so many people on, and because there's so many max level players who are trying to steal your wins on co-op survival, it's not the most efficient way ever. So it's not that easy, which is why it's only at the number five spot on this list. So coming in at the number four spot, we actually have sniper tournament. VIP actually does work on this mini game, which is actually great. So on a standard game, if you get first place with the win, you're going to be getting 20 XP, but with VIP, that's going to make it 40 XP. Each game is 2 minutes and 30 seconds, which means you can get 24 games every single hour done. You can actually get 96 coins every single hour, or with VIP, you're getting 192 coins every single hour, with 480 XP every single hour, but if you do have VIP, which is pretty easy to get, then you can also get 960 XP every single hour. That's actually really easy, but just like the co-op survival on this game mode, there's some max level players who are going to be one-tapping you a lot, so it does get a little bit difficult to actually get that first place which is why it's not that high on this list but if you are doing well on sniper tournament then you might want to go ahead and take a break from sniper tournament if that's too easy for you then go over here and hop into team fight deathmatch or point capture any of those game modes each of those all last around four minutes long and you can get 15 games every single hour with 720 xp for every single hour or if you have VIP, you're getting 1,440 XP every single hour you play. But keep in mind, this is, uh, the reason why this is at number three and not at number one spot, this can technically get you the most XP, but it's not the easiest because, like I said, you can, you can go up against some higher level players who are going to be spamming a lot, and it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for you to actually get those wins, which if you're not getting those wins, you're not getting first place, then it's going to make it more difficult for you to actually get XP. If you have made it this far, make sure you go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. What are you waiting for, dude? You're already halfway through this video. We actually have two more spots left on this list, so uh, comment down below which way you actually use to level up faster. 
And if you are a max level player, please comment down below something that I can do for tips and tricks videos for max level players. I don't know, maybe easy ways to get gems or something. I'm not entirely sure. Just comment down below what you want to see, and I can definitely work on getting that done. So coming in at a number two spot is actually a favorite for so many players, and that is going to be Block Crash. Block Crash is a game mode that can take, I believe, up to four minutes long, but most times it lasts between one and three minutes. And VIP does work on this mini game as well. With Block Crash, you can actually get 20 XP every single game if you win, or 40 XP if you have VIP. But then again, with this game mode, if you're not placing first place, you're not getting anything. With some of the other game modes, even if you play second, sometimes even third, you're still going to be getting some XP. On Block Crash, you can get 80 coins every single hour, or if you have VIP, it's 160 coins every hour. You can get 20 games in every single hour if each game's lasting 3 minutes long. And with that, you can get 400 experience points per hour or 800 experience per hour with VIP. That's going to make it really easy for you guys to actually level up getting this much XP every single hour. Because honestly, if you just get a 1 hour VIP and just grind that for 1 hour straight, it's going to be super easy for you. These games last very, very quickly if you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing or you don't have good weapons, it may last a little bit longer than you'd hope. But anyways, guys, that is going to be Block Crash right there. Let's go ahead and hop into the last one. The last one is honestly my favorite one to play. No, it's not going to be the freaking imposter game mode. The imposter game mode actually sucks for getting XP because even if you win, you're only getting freaking 5 XP. What is that? I don't even think, and I don't even think VAP works on that, which is actually crap. 5 XP for a win and the game lasts how long? Like 8 minutes long? That's too much, bro. Anyways, for the number one spot, we have Monster Hunting. Monster Hunting is, in my opinion, the best, most efficient way to level up and get XP in Pixgun 3D, and here is why. Monster Hunting is a two-minute game mode. No matter what, it's only going to be lasting two minutes long. With a win, you're getting 15 XP, or if you have VIP, you're getting 30 XP. The best part about this is you get 15 XP if you win as the monster, and you get 15 XP as a soldier if you place first place. Actually, it's going to be second place because at the mon Typically speaking, the monster is going to be placing first place. You're typically not going to kill it. But let's just say the monster gets first place. If you get second place as a soldier, you are still getting 15 XP even if you lose, which means basically no matter what, you're getting 15 XP as long as you place first or second on the leaderboard, which is actually great. With this game mode, you can get 90 coins every single hour or 180 if you have VIP. You're also getting 30 games in every single hour, which is actually great. You can get 450 XP per hour without VIP, and you can get 900 XP every single hour with VIP. And when it's basically guaranteed wins no matter what, bro, why aren't you doing this? It's just too easy. So that is going to be Monster Hunting right there. That is why I believe Monster Hunting is the fastest, most efficient way for you to actually level up and pick gun 3D. Obviously, if you're really good at Battle Royale, you can grind that out as well. You get tons of XP from that. Same thing with raids, but then again, if you don't know what you're doing, raids can take a lot of time. They can take up to 8, even 15 minutes for low-level players if they don't know what they're doing, or if their teammates are just trash and don't actually help you out. Anyways, guys, out of all of these game modes, which one do you prefer to use for leveling up in Pixgun 3D? Or which one do you use for getting coins? Because this is also kind of a fastest, easiest way to get coins as well, even though it's not really that video at all. But it kind of is at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyways, that's actually going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I hope it was helpful for one of you guys. If you are a new viewer, please just go ahead and click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this stuff. I'm trying to get more content out to appeal to new players in Pixgun 3D because new players, from what I've heard, they're not watching too much YouTube. So, guys, start watching YouTube, dude. There's so much stuff out here to help you in the game. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys all had a very blessed day. I'm going to go and wrap it up right there. So uh, I'll just see you guys in the next one. And my Discord server is linked below if you want to check that out. Goodbye.